and hello. Come on in. A little bit different today. So, update first off, how did last week go? Well, it was all back to normal, which was great. Uh, normal routine, normal training days, normal food. Another um, consistent weight drop which was good, although I did say to my coach this week, or, oh, you know, we were almost getting to the halfway mark, it'd be nice maybe if things were coming off a little bit quicker, because I kind of feel like I'm sort of coming down, but slowly, I mean, I'm sort of, I think it was about 17.4% body fat, and I'd like to be a little bit lower by this point. But he was like, no, not particularly, it's another same consistent drop, and he said, that's really good. So he wasn't worried in the slightest, so if he's not worried, then, I'm not going to worry, so little panic over. The change this week was to food, and the food is now um, a little bit lower than I'd like. So I'm going to be a little bit hungry this week. It's going to get worse yet, but yeah, food is, you know, we're about halfway through or approaching halfway through, and, and so now, like you say, gives you an idea. It does take a little while for that sort of food to get there. I don't want to go too much into detail with food and macros and, and, and calories because they're obviously something which is different for everybody and everyone's metabolisms are different, everyone's outputs are different. So what calories that you're going to be on at, at this stage of prep is always going to be different from one person to the next. So the one reason why I don't really go into a great lot of detail on that is because I don't want you to use me as a guide or think, oh, that's really low, or, oh, that's really high. You know, like I say, it's different for everybody. Because I think regardless of what calories you're on or macros you're on, probably about halfway through the prep for most people is where it's going to begin to um, really sort of start to bite. Like I say, because we're getting almost to the business end, I figured that it's, it's time to start getting a little bit organised and ordering the bits that I need for sort of show day. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff that you're going to need. I've started doing a little bit of research. I've registered with Ultimate Physiques, which is the show that I'm doing on the 9th of September. I've got my membership through. I've sorted all my hair and makeup, and I've sorted all my tan. I've just booked it all through them. And the reason I sort of did that, talking to my coach as well, I think it's good that because this is again my first show, and I've never ever done uh, stage makeup before, I think it's a good idea to maybe have um, the professionals do it at least the first time so you can get an idea of what sort of expected, what they do, what you sort of need to wear. In doing so, you kind of take a little bit of pressure off yourself for the day, not having to get up at the crack of dawn to do it yourself. So they do hair, makeup and everything. I can't think what their name was. I think it was Backstage Makeup was, was the name of the company that, that did that. The different federations, the PCA show that I'm doing in two weeks time after that one, that's a different tanning company again. So after that, I thought, right, let's start to collect all the other little bits and bobs that I need to take with me. Most of the stuff I've got, but the stuff that I didn't have, which is what a few people mentioned, was obviously the outfit the night before. Well, I say outfit, it's really just what you're going to put on once you've had your tan done. And I'll try to go as cheap as I possibly can. So basically, you need a black outfit when you get your tan done. And it needs to be something that is obviously going to completely cover your legs and it's going to completely cover your arms. So this was an American lady actually that said that. The English side don't sort of say this, but as a tip from them, they said, don't wear a vest because, you know, your arm's going to touch against your sides and then that can actually cause the tan to go streaky. So you're better off with a long sleeve top. You don't want anything tight so that nothing's going to leave a seam line or, or, or anything like that. It wants to be loose, but you're better off with long sleeves and something that you can possibly even tuck into like like jogger bottoms they all said no leggings so i've sort of looked for like a harem pants so sort of like a baggy leg with sort of loose cuffs at the bottom and then a sort of an elasticated waist um so i don't know what these will be like i haven't even tried them on they're from some sort of like yoga people of amazon i think they now think i'm some sort of yoga enthusiast they were about nine quid because I like you say, I've uh, spared no expense. Oh, and he say large. Yeah, the sizes on these are ridiculous. When I looked at the sizing chart, the small was just microscopic. And I just thought, well, I know I'm going to be really tiny at the side at the time, but I'm like, I don't know if I really want to risk ordering something that might fit at the time. So I've gone for <laughs> large. So hopefully, I mean, you know, I'm good and straight. They should be. I haven't tried any of this on yet, but uh, to be honest, there's no real point in trying it on because, uh, you know, I'm going to be probably a stone lighter than I am now. But yeah, that's what I've ordered for the for the sort of legs, which will be ideal. Like you say, they're not tight, they're loose. 
uh, they've got, just got loose cuffs at the bottom and then just a, a, that'll, that'll probably be quite loose on my waist come the time. I measured my waist recently because I'm going down for a bikini fitting and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And when I started the cut, it was about 27, sort of 20, sort of 26 and a half, 27. And I measured it the other day and I'm already down to 25. So I've lost a good two inches of my waist. I think you can kind of start to see that already. You know, it started to come a little bit off the shoulders. I'm not a big busted woman anyway, but unfortunately for me, the weight does come off the top half first and, and up here. Annoyingly, I'd like it to come more off the legs. And this, this is actually a man's top. Rather than a ladies top, I've actually gone for a small man's kind of granddad t-shirt. Because what I was thinking here, see, cause it's got like buttons. So I kind of thought if after you've had your tan done, obviously then you're gonna probably go and get your hair and makeup done. And I was a bit wary about having to have like a top or a t-shirt and then have to lift it up over my head. So if I've had my hair done by that point. So I thought it probably would be better to have something that potentially buttoned. So I was initially going to get just wear a shirt, but then I saw these and thought that would probably loosen around the neck enough um, that I could probably get it up and over my head without touching my hair if I had to. But that's what I've ordered. So like you say, it's, it's just a black man's small um, grander top. So like I say, when I'm done with that, if it fits James, he can have that afterwards. Woohoo! Highly fashionable. <laughs> no, it's just practical. And then the other thing a lot of people mentioned was it's worth taking a mirror with you. So I've just ordered a small travel mirror because a lot of people say it's very busy backstage. There's a lot of people sort of doing their hair and makeup. So actually trying to get access to a mirror is quite difficult. So I've just bought this small little it's a bit smaller than I hoped for actually. The mirror it looked a bit bigger, but it's just a little compact. And it's, it's actually got LED lights, but I haven't took the plastic bit, bit out yet, but it lights up as well. Probably before you go on stage, just making sure that you're not too shiny. You know, just, just a mirror, which is worth taking. So mirror. And then this I bought specifically was Bikini Bite, and that's obviously to sort of glue your suit on. Yes, you have to glue that suit on. There probably will be this at the place but again what a lot of ladies were saying online experience sort of competitors said stuff gets covered in fake tan stuff just gets covered greasy and the last thing you want to do is start touching stuff and in fact a lot of them even mentioned actually taking latex gloves with you so that you have those on and you have it and keeping everything in like plastic ziplock bags and everything like that but they said it's definitely worth taking your own and don't share i know that sounds a bit nasty but they said it, it you know stuff gets passed around and then you know stuff gets in a mess so it's just worth having your own the other thing of course is the bikini i've ordered that uh, paid the deposit on that and I'm actually going down for my first fitting of that on Friday So I'm quite excited to do that. It's a, it's a little bit of a nuisance I've got to go all the way down to London for that and it's called um, Georgia Rose bikinis But they are really really nice and she does like complimentary fittings and stuff And I'll be finalizing like the color that I want for it as well because I'm not entirely sure what color I want I'm a little bit I've got ideas so I'm looking forward to that and hopefully the day when I do that I'll try and maybe record little snippets of that day as well. There's still a long way to go, body's beginning to tighten up now, I can, I can see the changes. Uh, posing practice starts soon. And that starts this month um, so there's a lot coming up this month which is keeping me my my spirits up and, and feeling really good I'm, I'm still feeling quite positive about things last week had that sort of little wobble being away but came through it back on it so that's it for now maybe what i might do is maybe like maybe next week's although that'll probably be more of the bikini fitting is at one point maybe do a little vlog which goes on maybe some of the diet hacks you can do to try and make some of your food go a little bit further or what i'm doing on some of my things and some crazy recipes that i've come up with but i shall love you and leave you and catch up with you next week goodbye Oh, bloody hell, that was a slog, wasn't it? Jeez. I was afraid that one might be a long one. That's about 50 minutes of just bubble. Yeah, I know. It's good though, good quality content as always. Filmed by me, produced by me, I'm the producer. So, as always, that's a wrap.